Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter. Click to add dots. Loops are one way of quickly adding dots to our canvas, but now we're going to change our app so that the user can decide when and how many dots to add. The canvas is a UI element, so you can attach event handlers to it just like you would any other element. We're going to move the circle command inside of a click event handler so that the user can click to add individual dots. Looks like we have an example here. They're dragging out an event handler. They're changing the ID to canvas main. That's their canvas ID right there. And it looked like they dragged the circle line right here into the event handler. We have a do this. Add an event handler, set its ID to your canvas ID. Move the circle command out of your for loop and into your new event handler. Remove the for loop from your program. Run the program and confirm that a single dot is added every time a user clicks your canvas. Well, this sounds like a lot of fun. What we're basically going to do in this lesson is we are going to add an event handler so that anytime a user clicks on the screen, a random dot will be generated somewhere. It's not going to be generated where the user clicks yet, just somewhere random on the screen because we're not changing the circle code at all. How do we do that? Well, from our example, I know I need to get rid of this for loop here so I can just delete this. I need an event handler, so I'm going to drag an event handler in here. The ID is canvas main. And when the user clicks on it, what do we want to happen? Well, we want our circle to go to a random spot on the screen. The circle should be a gray color and it should be just like the example. Let's see if that's what happens. Let's hit run. Nothing in our canvas right now. When I click, I should get a dot. There we go, it's one hello dot. If I keep clicking, I should keep getting more dots. If they overlap because they're set to transparent because of our previous lesson, we can see them overlapping. And it only happens to add a dot when I click on the screen. Well, that's very fun code.org. I think our code is working as it should. Looking back up here to our do this, we did add a event handler to our code and set its ID to what our canvas was. We moved our circle command out of a for loop and into our event handler. We ran the program and we confirmed that a single dot is added every time we clicked the screen. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.